buddy. It's not cute. It's November now, and there's frost on the ground. <sighs> I grew up in a place that has always had seasons, and every single year, it just gets me. I never feel like I'm ready for it, or that it's gonna happen so soon. Buddy, you're taking up the whole cushion. Anyway. <clears throat> it's Friday morning and I'm just doing my favorite thing which is drinking coffee with Buddy I'm watching YouTube videos Bronco's been galloping around like a maniac <laughs> I think he's starting to get a little bit of cabin fever because the windows obviously I've had the windows shut um, and I feel bad but I actually had a dream last night that I was like walking somewhere with both of them and I had to like travel with them without a car for some reason it wasn't like a pleasant walk it was like we had to go somewhere and Bronco and Buddy were both on leashes but then Bronco's leash came off and then he was like walking behind me for a second but then I got nervous he was gonna run away so <laughs> I put him in my tote bag and like in the dream he struggled and made the noises that he would have made in real life it was so funny but eventually he just like settled into the bag and it was really cute and like people that we passed were just like really they were like oh that's so cute it was a pretty cute dream in the end but that is something that's been going on for me lately i mean i've always been someone who remembers my dreams for the most part and like has very vivid ones but i feel like lately just in like the last month or so they are so vivid and kind of realistic like not anything crazy and they hold a lot of people that i know in my real life and i've done this before where i've never had a dream journal but i have like made it a point to run through my dream and remember it each morning just so like I could get better at remembering them and I actually did the same thing I think around this time last year uh, because I was having a lot of very vivid dreams but I realized that from me like remembering them and holding those dreams in my mind I started to feel really affected by them emotionally not even because they were super like intense emotional dreams but I don't know it's just like a lot to carry I feel like it's just like a whole other life that you're living and like sometimes it can feel suffocating to have that much in your head on top of like real life I don't know so I really love dreams and like they really really fascinate me but at the same time they scare me a little bit especially because I'm definitely someone who really reads into them and like I'll look up the meanings constantly or I'll be like oh that's a sign <laughs> I think that there can be things to learn from them but I also don't want to fall into the trap of just 
relying on them to give me insight and like messages or whatever if any of that makes any sense <laughs> I've been feeling pretty, I feel kind of like a broken record because in the last couple videos I feel like I've talked about anxiety, but it has been affecting me a lot more lately than it usually does. And I think I know for the most part why. I guess this is going to be a long chat, so. <clears throat> But it's something I've been ruminating on lately because, I don't know, I feel like when I moved here, I went through it because it was such like a new stressful situation compared to what I came from. But then I settled in and I had a really good summer and I felt very present and just like living in the moment and obviously doing things because it was summertime and it was like it's just what you do but now that things are starting to slow down and winter is coming which I'm still looking forward to but also slightly afraid of um, but yeah I think that it's just kind of like settling in now that I I'm kind of, I don't, I'm not stuck, but I know that I have to be here and I have to be in my job for the next little while. And that's fine. I feel like I have a really good situation. I have my own apartment and I am able to care for my two animals, which are the most important things in the world to me. But it is kind of frustrating because I work <clears throat> and I don't I don't like working like I just don't I hate working for other people I always have I ex I understand that's like what I have to do but like it kills my soul to do it but it's just frustrating because I I'm like barely I'm basically just like making enough money right now to pay for all the bills I have and like live and there's not much else left over like I really can't spend any other money on like my own personal things so that's just been like weighing on me a lot lately obviously it sucks but like I also know that compared to a lot of people like <clears throat> I am very lucky and I know that I just like really really hate capitalism <laughs> as we all should and hopefully do um, and we all know this but you know it just sucks and it's hard to feel happy when this is just what it is so that's something I'll be working on and like trying to figure out lately is how to find how to regain control of my enjoyment and my life while also still like accepting that this is just what I have to do for now. So, <laughs> yeah, I've just been thinking about it lately. Honestly, I've been so anxious that I haven't really had like the motive to think about it or the energy really. I've just been trying to get through, but I feel like I'm coming out of it a little and I'm like gaining some strength. <laughs> so yeah, just something I'm working on lately. And actually making videos has been a big part of that for me. It feels like I have something. <laughs>
besides work something creative um but yeah i've been talking for 10 minutes now and i hope that it wasn't too boring and i hope that it was relatable in some way thank you for listening <laughs> all right i'm going to sit here and probably watch some more videos on YouTube and then do some laundry after, get some good food.